the game guineas with hot topics that sweet the spiciest memes i'm marissa roberto and who am i today oh i'm gizmo moore don't feed me after midnight we're going to present all the goodies we've gathered which we will discuss and most likely argue but luckily for all of us there is a mute button and i really <laughs> want to use it on you right now to shut you up and your scripts you're not supposed to get water on you either <laughs> Bad things will happen. Shout out to Jeff. We like it when you call us out when we're wrong and praise us when we're spitting truth. So let's get to it, okay. shall we? Kicking off our top stories is Faye's High Sky. Who has a confession to make? Uh -oh. On a YouTube stream, High Sky admitted that he's only 12 years old and apologized to fans for lying to them. High Sky was signed by Faze last year and said that he was 13 in order to skirt the Twitch and YouTube rules preventing minors from streaming. He was banned from Twitch but is now on YouTube because its rules state that a minor can stream if a parent is always present. And wouldn't you know, High Sky's mom was always on camera. Brody, so where does the high sky go from here? Honestly, like he is he's kind of getting torched here from everybody, even though he's just a kid. Where does he go from here? Well, apparently to YouTube. because <laughs> um, they'll they'll uh, they'll take uh, anybody streaming there yeah. uh, because they're really behind on Twitch's viewing numbers right now when mm. it comes to streaming video games. So I'm not surprised that YouTube has those rules implemented. Mm. It's just gonna be really weird now. The mom has to just stand in the back all the time. So What's she gonna do? Is she gonna join in the conversation, or is she just going to sit in the back and like read a newspaper or do whatever her hobbies are yeah. in the background? Like, <laughs> what do like, moms like? What do moms I, I do? I don't know, but yeah, no, like she's gonna have to be in the background. Like, if she leaves camera for like one second, yeah. is that a problem? Like, maybe does. Like, can she not go to the bathroom the whole time that he's streaming? That's a good point. Um, um, yeah. Like, he might have to, they both might have to take a bathroom break and have, like, a little uh, commercial break from the stream. <laughs> and they both leave because she has to be present at all times. Because you know somebody, because people are really upset about this, you know that somebody's going to be watching all the time. A few people are just going to be always keeping an eye on it just to get mm -hmm. this kid in trouble because they don't like how he lied. And also, like, there's a lot of haters out there, right? He got he got signed to phase. And, yeah. and I don't know. The thing is, like, I don't know who to blame here because obviously a lot of this, comes onto phase the phase is in hot water for it as well yeah but it's like is it on them to make sure that everyone they sign like do they check them have to check the birth certificate of everyone they sign you know what I mean like is that well, part I'm, of it yeah I mean I'm not like I mean that's why he's bad now because they eventually found out if they do it on good faith I suppose yeah. but uh, I mean I, I'm not really blaming the kid I mean it's not high guys he's 12 man yeah. like I'm not holding any 12 year olds really accountable for anything they do they don't know what they do the kids like hey I got a good opportunity why would they be able to find out? I well, don't like, see any way they could find out because he knows nothing about mm -hmm. how they could find out, right? He's just a kid. He's just so he's going to try to get away with it, of course. Yeah. I tried to get away with so many things when I was a kid. Whether I did or didn't is a different story. It's just I tried, and every kid's going to. So I don't blame the yeah. kid. I blame uh, any legal guardians that maybe would have let him do that uh, at the same time. Well, I don't know. And, if the thing and is, like, phase for me not doing a full investigation. I just don't know if he's still lying, though, because apparently he's actually 11. Like, that's what Tifa no, was, was saying. Signed. When he so was when he was signed, signed he was, was 11. So, so okay, so now he's actually 12 and he is telling the truth. Yes. Okay, fair. So in this case, we know Tifu was telling the truth. But now on to the next story. E3 is next week, but don't tell that to Google or many people, really. The company held a Stadia Connect stream yesterday to detail its upcoming Stadia stream platform. And let me tell you, there were a lot of details. Mm. But the most important news was this. It will require a 10 megabit down and 1 megabit up stream internet connection to stream games at minimum detail. And the 10 US dollar subscription service only covers older games. Mm. New releases, it seems, will have to be purchased in full. Mm. So if you want a game right away immediately, you're still paying full price for games. But the, so really what you're paying the $10 for mm. is uh, just the access to the servers and, and being a able month. to stream the games. Yeah. A so month. the idea is instead of, I suppose this is instead of buying a video game console straight up for, you know, four to 500 bucks, mm. you're paying 10 bucks a month to, uh, to, to have, have that video game console, but then also still have to pay for games if you want new games to come yes, out. Yes, but I'm you still get older mm -hmm. games for free. So there is a bonus to it. Like, you're not just, you know, buying games. You do get games you for free. You know what, Brody? You're su oh, you are such a Google fanboy that you literally will just defend them at every time. Are you turn. kidding me? I'm the first no. one to scrutinize them. Okay, so then wouldn't you say this is kind of annoying? Like we all thought it was going to be this amazing thing and that not, is going to be super I mean, cheap I mean, and like we're going to all get into it together, we're going to get to play everything. But no, we need to have a certain internet connection, which is obviously expected. Now we have to pay $12 Canadian, okay? So like, <laughs> that's not 10 for us. Oh no, breaking um, the bank here. No, no, seriously, we already have so many stupid subscriptions we have every single month. So now we have to add this to the pile and then also pay for games on top of it? Seriously? Yeah, oh yeah, no, I would rather have like a 30 to $40 a month service. 
um, which is what a lot of the streaming services were before, to just have all the games. But mm -hmm. the fact, I would have a real issue with this if you weren't getting any games for free. If you're paying tech 10 bucks a month and you're just now having to buy them. You can get the base version of this that is free, mm. that is free, but you have to pay full games and you don't get the free games. Okay. So basically, now you're just paying for the games to stream them, right? So the $10 a month gets you old games for free mm. um, and allows you to stream up to 4K if you have the internet connection to support that. Okay. So 10 bucks a month, fairly reasonable. I'm probably not gonna mention that I did buy the Founders Edition already. You're so annoying, I knew it. You're already sucking that. Mm. Listen, in this week's unfortunate <laughs> Borderlands 3 news, Gearbox confirmed that Chris Hardwick would be reprising his role as Bond. This news comes after actress Chloe Dykstra accused an ex-boyfriend of sexual and emotional abuse. While she didn't name anyone, it was believed by many that the boyfriend in question was Hardwick. Dykstra tweeted her disapproval at the news and is auctioning off her Borderlands gear for charity. Brody. Yeah. <laughs> This, this upsets me for I, a lot of different know, reasons. I don't and I don't know. To talk about this. Okay, so um, Chloe, who is a lovely woman, um, ha went through a whole thing where she decided she was going to tell the story of this abusive boyfriend, okay? okay? She never named the boyfriend. Okay. She just did, she did an article about it because she did want women to know that, like, listen, this happens. You need to be aware of it and try to stop it when you see these signs, okay? Because well, it should just be a message just, to anybody. It should, it's a message to anybody, Regardless yes. Regardless of your gender. Well, Absolutely. You should speak out if that's happening to you. Yes. Not just women to men as well. You should nobody nobody should be verbally, mentally, any kind of abuse Amen. in a relationship, okay? So she put this out there, didn't name him, but it was very obvious in some of the things that she was talking about that it was clearly Chris Hardwick, okay? okay. So Chris so Hardwick he also stepped down? He he did not. Um he did not step down, but you know how he hosts the show on A and E for The Walking Dead. He, sure. Okay, so he did host the show, and he did their okay. own investigation, apparently, but uh, there was no cooperation from Chloe because Chloe didn't want to actually come out and name him because she didn't want to like flame his career or anything. But the fact that like well, I mean, she, if you, everybody if you made it that clear anyways, you're flaming his career. You may as well just say his name, so now it's not okay, up for consideration. Okay, fair enough. So the fact that like now these companies are still working, I'm I'm just I'm just upset because it seems like Randy Pitchford just in general seems very out of touch. Okay, like he could have easily replaced Vaughn with Troy Baker, who's very talented and it can easily step into that Troy role. Great. No problem, can be done. The fact they're giving it back to Chris Hardwick, which honestly like the gaming community I feel like is done with him like I have feels now about Borderlands like going to do a Borderlands interview Who, Chris? I don't know like Chris won't be there like I'm definitely not talking to him but I just have well, feels here's, about here's my issue is what? the fact that he's never been named even if it's been obvious why wouldn't she just say his name like say his name then it's we all because now it's left up to speculation that oh maybe it's not him and now no. you're creating a divide amongst people no. that are going to fight this if you just say the name there's no question for debate the issue is you didn't say the name. That's not the that issue. Like the issue is someone who was point. someone who is abusive, emotionally and mentally abusive, and used to be an alcoholic. Yes, he is sober now. Then say like, the name, we, though. No, but there's no. What, what is the point now? What is the point because now? Because you just created. It, now you're creating two camps. You've created more problems by not saying the name. Say the name. Call people out. Like I'm gonna call you out right now. For what? For being annoying AF. You're annoying AF. Just Jesus. go. We're out of time. <laughs> The biggest video game story of the week, surprisingly, isn't about E3. According to a new report, Blizzard is actively working on Overwatch, duh, which they'll announce at BlizzCon 2019. Apparently, it will not only feature the same PvP modes, but a new PvE mode as well. That's apparently all we know, but we have heard the oh. devs saying that uh, it feels a lot like Left 4 Dead is oh. what they're relating to. Do we need an Overwatch 2, Marissa? No. Like, if it feels like... We? Kind of odd. Are they going to replace that in the OWL, or yeah. is this like, I don't? It's kind of weird that we're having a second one. This is weird. What changes are they going to make? Like, why do we need to? Yeah, exactly. No, it's strange because, like, to me, the updates in Overwatch and what we get new in Overwatch are the new heroes, right? Like, that's that's what's new. That's yeah. what's exciting. And then they can add new maps because it's a competitive game. This is what you need to do. Like the same deal with CS:GO. CS:GO does not change. CS:GO maybe gets a new map, and that's what? about it. Or R6. And they've been R6 adding game change. modes to Overwatch already, and they also yeah. added the the ability to write scripts and create new game modes. Why can't they just put it into this one? Mm -hmm. Like, why do they have to make a new game? 
Like, is this just uh, to sell more well, copies? It's, like, it's, you can build this in well, yeah, exactly. to the game it's that already sell, exists. It's just to sell more copies. It's all it is to people on the outside. I don't think this really, maybe this won't even affect the esports community at all. This is probably just something that's going to come out for, you know, the outsiders to play and get excited about Overwatch. And then maybe slowly they'll introduce those heroes that they come out with mm -hmm. for that game into the competitive scene of this Overwatch. Because there's already a system in but place that's, here. But now they're going backwards, too? Like, are they going to be supported simultaneously? Because then if you call Overwatch 2, it seems like it's the new, better thing. Right. You shouldn't keep like putting into the old one when you yeah. got the new one, right? Yeah, this is true. just really confusing. I don't know, you play a lot of Overwatch though. Like have you been feeling like maybe you want a little a little something special, a little sparkle, a little sheen? Well, I mean, I could I could list off a whole bunch of changes that I'd like. Um, but I guarantee you that they're not going to do that into the next one because like it would completely change the competitive scene. Yeah, mm. uh, my I mean, I want less people on the field. I want less people on a team, but there's oh. careers out the window. So they're not going to uh. do that, right? Imagine all of a sudden they're like, "Actually, uh, you know, a whole like third of the our Overwatch League don't have careers anymore. I don't think that's going to happen. You bring the jobs money. away from people, okay? You're so kind. I'm trying to be nice, but I would take some people off the field. That's <laughs> that's for sure. There's much going There's on. There's too much going yeah, yeah. on. It's You're a right, terrible esport. That e is the meta right of Overwatch, though. That's the game. Listen, <laughs> it's time to check in with streamers and clip it. First up, we have a clip from Mrs. Ruby and her adorable son, who's having a hard time describing a particular kind of egg. Um, do you know which ones are like the ones that have like white stuff in it? What? Do you know those ones that have white stuff in it? Not the shells, like the things that have yellow stuff in it. Those white ones. Banana? Know? No, not the yellow stuff. Yellow stuff in it. It has yellow stuff in it. Yeah, in, a, in like white stuff. Holding it's an egg. Is it an egg? No, it's it's one of the types of an egg. It's the like one that uh that has hard boiled like, egg. Yeah, those ones. What about it? I, the like white stuff are really good. Is this one one of it? No, that's a regular egg. <laughs> For real though, I definitely. <laughs> Yeah, come across a moment where I've forgotten the word for something and I've had I basically felt like that kid where I'm trying yeah. to describe the thing that I want to talk about but I can't find the word for it so I'm like you know the thing and the thing with yeah, the you know for the sure. thing no we've all done it that kid is literally all of us I love it so much how sweet he was and he was so like you know he just really wanted to tell her it's really good the white stuff is, is really good. I'm glad that it didn't go in an, a certain way. I, <laughs> I know. I, I, there's definitely a could have. And yeah. I know she was thinking that too. What is this kid talking yeah. about right now? Yeah. All right, let's move on. Our next clip comes from Linden FBS, who receives an assist from a real bro. Bro, is that your wife or something? Let me talk to her. You want to talk to my brother? Yeah. Oh, that was. Oh, it sounds a little. Okay. Oh my God. Hey, what's up, man? What's, up? what's your name? What's uh, my name is Lenny. Can you please turn off your brother's computer right now? Yeah. Do it. Computer? Yeah, yeah, please. Okay. My man. I got you, fam. Thanks, bro. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. That's rude. That's real. He's got That's he's he's rude. got paid plants. In every everyone's Seriously. room. Yeah, don't worry, I got you, bro. Uh, uh that's not that's not a real bro. A bro would stick with his bro. No, you can't, you can't do that what? to your bro, no, okay. bro. I mean, trust me, it is, a bro, it is a in the brother's code to do to whatever you bro. can to disrupt your brother and his what? enjoyment in anything. That is I, what you do to show your love as a brother. No, because see, like I obviously do the opposite of what my brother wants me to do, but he, yes! but I'm his sister. Like I feel like just boys and girls are usually like fighting that way. I feel like when you have a brother, no, that's just a, I think it's a, brother. I think it's a universal uh, just sibling thing okay. that you need to be a real crap disturber to your siblings <laughs> and inconvenience them at any given moment. Um, okay, like see, I don't want to do your dirty, and you're my bro. Well, you do. I know. Okay, it's really time for the best uh, time of day where we scroll the Twitters to bring you all the things the pros bless us with on their timeline. It's the best when they share intimate details about their relationships. League of Legends commentator Froskerin says, My partner and I share a single deodorant. However, when she travels, the deodorant goes with her? That is the flat's deodorant. It should stay in the flat. 
And you know who is currently the only one in the flat? Me, smelly me. Okay, Cody, that's not the problem. What's no, the problem. No, 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 no. The problem is not that it's being taken out of the flat. What is it then? The problem is that that's a weird to share deodorant. No, it's not. What? I share my deodorant with my husband. No. Yeah, that's I do. gross. Why is it gross? Because like you're not even if you're just out of a shower, your body's still gonna start sweating. Now you got someone else's sweat on it that you're putting Brie, into your armpits. Brie, you sleep in the same bed as this person. You, you're you have so? like you you share their germs all the I don't, time. I don't sleep in the same bed and put my armpit up on them. Yeah, but you like, really want to share the deodorant, deodorant with this armpit? You put the deodorant on when Look you're not these. sweating though. Look at these. They're already though. sweating. Yeah, no, I wouldn't share deodorant with you. I do give you like the the air Okay, one. do you share a toothbrush? Uh, sometimes if we're in a pinch. No, you do not get to talk on this show anymore. This is awful. If you're out there, stop. Please stop. For the goodness of all hygiene, stop. Do not share your deodorant with other people. Get your own stick, and you won't have to worry about them taking it on vacation. Moving on. Nintendo, <laughs> Bill Trinan is a dad out there tweeting like uh, dad-like things, but they're totally relatable. And for that reason, he is now all of our fathers. Bill Trinan is your dad. Dad says, I am really, really terrible at remembering that sunglasses exist. I'm just terrible in general at remembering. But no, for real, I haven't worn sunglasses in years. I knew it! I knew the second I saw that tweet, I'm like, Brody literally walks out of the house thinking, dang, I wish I had sunglasses. Like, you, that must happen to you all the time. I actually, I saw a lot of times when I'm like waiting for the bus or something. I'm like, wow, it's really bright. I can't even open my eyes. How do people deal with this? Yeah, yeah. And never does it cross my mind that we have invented sunglasses. <laughs> I'm just like, oh. This is hard, I can't see right now. <laughs> I mostly stop though, in all honesty, wearing sunglasses because they don't look good on my face because of my no chin, they stick out and they emphasize that I have no chin. And it makes me really self-conscious. So I deal with the pain Aww. of the UV rays. Oh, Brody, I didn't realize you cared so much about your appearance. I don't, just my chin. That's the one thing. <laughs> That's it. <Can't>, now they're <laughs> chirping me in the, come yeah. on. Just read the let's, next let's bit. Impress F and Chad for Brody's no chin. <laughs> Listen, uh, we've actually been talking about High Sky already. We talked about him in the episode earlier. Uh, of course, the 12-year-old Fortnite player. But other people had opinions about this, right? Mm -hmm. So D&D host Kevin Hitt had a lot of words on this, and here are some of them. Is there any more despicable thing than making the kid go on YouTube and telling everyone he lied about his age when we all know damn well that this was facilitated by FaZe Clan and other adults surrounding Patrick? Shame on FaZe Clan for throwing the kid under the bus! Brody! That's what I said. That's what I was saying before. I'm on board with this. This is not the kid's fault. It is the adults around him. The mature adults who made the decision. But he's also, he also is bringing up parents, though. He, like, yeah, he, he's bringing up parents. This is what I'm saying. Parents. The, the, the parents that signed, because he would have had to sign that FaZe Clan document, even if he was 13, he's, he's not an adult yet, right? Yeah. He has to have an adult guardian sign that for him. Which means, first off, FaZe didn't do a good enough investigation to find mm. out what his actual age was. Mm. Even if the kid's lying, pull up documents, man. There are documents for this. Pull up those documents, get them, especially if, if he's way older, like he's clearly like, you know, over 19 in his 20s. Then it's a little more like, even then you should still be getting the documents, but it's more reasonable to just, maybe look over it. But it's a kid, yeah. get the documents, and then the parents should not have lied as well. I just not feel like regardless, kid. like you know how stage moms are, just even like, you know, they talk about Hollywood parents, the pe parents that like just don't care about their child's well-being in general, and they're yeah. just like, no, like be famous. You can be famous, they're gonna make some money, like they let's go, let's money. go. I don't, yeah, At the so. same time, this kid is going to be well off because he's going to have a lot of money in the future. Yeah, and his parents will, I'm sure, reap some of those rewards. Uh, that's a whole other topic. We mm -hmm. need responsible parents. But let's move on because it is time to get to some crowd controlled. So I don't know if I'm getting older, but I defo don't think there are many good Pokemon beyond Gen 2. And an artist online, Anonymous, points out why that may be. Hmm. They point out how the design has changed and gotten cuter as the years go on. You got smooth feet, mm. bug head, uh, big head, sorry, and eyes, and less sharp overall. Oh. Um, and, and they show, you know, what a vault pix would look like had it been drawn in this newer style, right? Mm. Mm. And then it shows the new gen Pokemon, what they would look like in the old. And I'm gonna say straight up, yeah. I like the old style. Uh, Marissa, I don't know what you prefer there, if you like the how it's going this cutesy, kind of style. How could you even ask me that question? Obviously, I prefer the cute <laughs> Well, I don't know. I'm not going to make assumptions like, about your obviously. Pokemon And I love how you're like, I don't know if I'm getting older. Yeah, you're definitely getting older, Brody. That is just life. Is that we're, how it we're, works? We're all, we're all, oh. get, we're all but getting older. Science but no, they, they have to appeal to more people, right? So, of course, they're going to go more cutesy because know, the people that love like, Pokemon will still love Pokemon regardless, and then they can bring in a younger audience with this cutesy vibe. But they were still bringing a young audience with those old designs, too. I was playing when I was 11. Brody, do you do market research? No. Do you, you don't sit behind a, a 
a glass um, and then like do do market research I'm and have people sitting around the table giving their input? Why, I don't know. I don't like that new art style. So you're, suck it. My opinion is You're up, right. so annoying. Listen, we all hate <laughs> loading screens. And over the years, a lot of developers have done some creative things to hide their loading screens. So Mirador shows us how they tackle it. This, okay. So this is brilliant. Where'd he yeah. go? Where's he going? He's just going into another world. No, bam! There's the new world. That's so sick. That's cool. Uh -huh. Yo, that looks like Bastion. Uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, I don't think that game's actually out yet. Oh, um, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, well, I loved it. It's For me, it was I saw a big change in loading screens with Uncharted. Yeah. Uh, Uncharted student started doing it behind the cutscenes. Mm. Tomb Raider took after that, too, you know, when she's going through crevices. Yes. That's when they're loading the next levels. Oh, so cool. uh, Portal did it uh, with the elevators. Yeah. There's a lot of brilliant ways. I love it just to make these games seem more seamless. Now with the next oh, gen, yeah. though, with SSDs, PS5 was showing off uh, their tech. We're just not going to have to worry about the creative things anymore yeah, yeah. because there are no loading times, and I'm looking forward to it. I wonder if Kojima is going to have loading times in his new game because don't you remember with all of his games, there was just like the longest loading times before anything, <laughs> I, like the cutscenes that the would lotus, happen. It wasn't the loading times that were long. Cut, it was <laughs> the 14 to 30 minute cutscenes <laughs> that were long. You could load loading. 40 games in that time. <laughs> It was brilliant. <laughs> Anyways, so our last post is a glitch that shows us how to assert dominance and truly invoke fear in your mm. opponents. When will your boss be here next? A few days. Let me go. I beg you. Oh my, Brody! Th we're not. This is not our rated. That's the new the new version, the Assassin's Creed Remaster Baited. I did it! I don't listen, I don't know if we were allowed to but say we did that it. or not. Either um, way, I love those glitches and we that, need more of those in our life. Exactly. I must say that was a very good <laughs> glitch. I see, I would yeah, I would have clipped that too. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sorry. That, that was a good one. Okay, then I'll I continue capturing more of those moments for you guys to enjoy. <laughs> yeah, I know, but can you save them? Because I'm not gonna be here for a week. I'm going to E3. Alright, I will save all else. the good ones so Ron doesn't get any good moments oh, on crowd so control. Much. No problem. That's how you show I'm kidding, them up. he's getting all the best ones. I've already been saving them up. That's true though. Ron will be here right in the spot all next week with Brody. Cannot wait to watch you boys do your thing. I'm going to be at E3 with Camille and AJ uh, bringing you guys the, guys the goods there. Uh, that's it for Unmuted. Be sure to hit us up and say hi on Squad State. We are there everywhere on socials and we'll see you next time.